there are five different ways that you can lose body heat to the environment and that's what you're trying to prevent uh, to protect yourself from the elements you're trying to prevent body heat being lost to the environment and your body no longer no longer being able to thermoregulate and then you die from hypothermia um, and it's important that you know what those five different ways are so that you know how to take steps to prevent that from happening So the five ways that we lose body heat are radiation, evaporation, respiration, conduction, and convection. As far as radiation, radiation is happening all the time because heat is gonna move along a temperature gradient from an area of a higher temperature to an area of a lower temperature. So meaning anything that's hot in a cold environment is gonna lose heat into the cold you know, because it's attempting to reach an equilibrium. So, radiation is a 98.6 degree body in a 70 degree environment. I'm constantly radiating heat and losing that off to the environment. That's where your, you know, clothing system comes in. That's where your sleeping bag system comes in. Uh, your insulating layers are what's trying to trap some of that radiated heat in and keep your body warm. Uh, as far as respiration, whenever you inhale, Obviously, like I said, 98.6 degree body, you know, 75 degree air, um, 70 degree air, whatever it is. When you, when you bring that air in, that your airway has to warm that air and bring it to the same temperature as the rest of your body. So that cold air comes in and it's basically taking heat away from your respiratory system. And then of course, every time you exhale, you're exhaling that warm air out into the environment and bringing cold air back in. So that constant respiration is a constant heat loss source and there's not much you're gonna do about that uh, other than in really cold environments, you know, you can throw a scarf over your mouth and nose so that it traps some of that, that you know, warmer air uh, and allows you to lose less heat as it's coming back in. But evaporation is the other way. Uh, evaporation is basically, if you think of sweating, when you sweat, and that evaporates, it takes body heat with it. So that's why we tell everyone, uh, if you sweat, you die in a survival situation. So never allow yourself uh, to sweat. Always dress in loose layers, um, keep your clothing dry, um, and avoid overheating. The two that you can really do a lot about is, is conduction and convection. Conduction is when your body is physically touching something that's colder, physically touching a colder object, such as the ground that colder ground is going to be pulling heat from your warmer body the entire time that it's touching it because the heat is trying to move down that temperature gradient ground insulation insulation from the ground is one of the biggest things that are going to prevent you from losing heat uh, convection convection is anytime a current flows across your body uh, so there could be two different types. The one that we're most usually concerned with is the wind. You know, obviously a lesser temperature wind blows across your warmer body. As it goes across, the heat from your body is constantly trying to warm that air. Another form of convection is, is a water current. It's not just an air current, it could be a water current. So when you're doing a stream crossing, uh, that water, colder water, as it flows around your body, uh, same thing as the wind, it's, uh, it's stealing heat as it goes. Uh, so that's another thing that you need to watch out for. Convection is definitely something that you want to take care of and we do that by you know wearing insulating clothing and wearing our windproof waterproof layer. So those are the five ways that heat is lost and if you know those you can prevent those.